Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello everyone. Hello sobat hebat Matsa Suba. How are you today? I hope all of you are in a good condition. Okay, welcome back to online English lesson for SMP or MTS grade 8 with me, Heru Haryadi. In this video, we are going to discuss about short message. But before we start the lesson for today, let's say the dua together. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Radhi tu bila hiroba wa bil islami dina wa bi Muhammadin nabi ya wa rasula. Rabbi zidni ilma wa rzuqni fahma wa ja'alni min ibadika salihin. What's on this video? Okay, students. Uh, in the last video, we, are, we have discussed about recount text. Did you remember about this kind of text? Okay, recount text is kind of text that retelling your past experience. But now, in this video, we are going to discuss about short message. Well, what is short message? Okay, students, actually this uh, material is quite easy. Why? Because, yeah, in your daily life, you already written this kind of text, short message. Yeah, in your cell phone or handphone, uh, you use such an application like uh, WhatsApp, Instagram. Yeah, and in by using this application, you send a message to your friends, to your family, and so on. Yeah, in this case, you already learn about short message, right? Well, a short message is a simple written piece of information that we send or leave for someone. Actually, a short message is made because we can't meet the receipt directly. For composing short message is an easy way for everyone. It can be called as habit because we almost send a message to other people for asking or giving information every day. Okay, the characteristics of short message. Yeah, this is the important information for you that you should know about uh, this short message. The first one is clear address. The second one is simple message. Yeah, because uh, this called as short message. Short message, so it means that the message is simple. And the third one is easy to understand. Well, the next is about the purpose of writing a short message. Okay, the first purpose is to give information. The example. I want to inform you that there will be a quiz of English tomorrow. Yeah, it means that uh, this kind of uh, short message, yeah, the purpose of this short message is giving information. Okay, the second purpose, to ask information. The example is, when will we go to Tangkuban Prahu? Yeah, the third purpose, to ask permission. The example, can I borrow your novel, please? The fourth purpose, to apologize. Yeah, when you have a mistake to your friends or your family, yeah, you can use uh, this kind of purpose. Yeah, to apologize. For example, I'm sorry, I can't join with you. I'm sorry, I can't join with you. And the last purpose is to invite someone. For example, would you like to come to my birthday party tonight? Yeah, this all of the uh, this all is about the purpose of writing a short message. I hope you can understand and use the short message or write the short message based on the right purpose. Well, these are the important aspects of short message so when you want to write a short message please pay attention to these kinds of aspects the first one who send the message yeah it means the sender so you uh, don't forget to write your name uh, clearly 
and then the second one for whom the message is yeah it means the receive or the receiver of the short message yeah it is also uh, you have to write the uh, your friend's name or your family's name clearly and then the third one the information in the message yeah it means the content the fourth one the purpose of the message and the last one the relationship between the sender and the receiver yeah it means that when you want to write a short message to your friends it means that you have to use uh, informal language but it will be different when you want to write a short message to your parents to your uh, teacher yeah you have to use a formal language yeah this is another uh, types of short message it's called as memo a memo is a short official note that is sent by one person to another within the same company or organization okay here are the example to andy and from tony let's meet at the library this afternoon at 2 p.m to do our project together don't be late yeah it means that the relationship between andy and tommy is yeah they are a friendship well this is another type of short message yeah i think you already know about these uh, types that's called as sms short message service is short message sent using handphone yeah here are the example of short message service okay from yeah this is uh, the sender just to inform you that the meeting will be cancelled for tomorrow monday may 23rd 2009 at 10 a.m as the principal will arrive from jakarta tonight from jenny well students let's do a practice together let's write a short message i hope you can pay attention to this uh, example why because after this uh, i ask you to make uh, to make or to do the exercise like uh, this kind of practice okay use the capital letters and punctuation marks correctly well here i already provide a short message but the way uh, the way this short message written is still incorrect or still wrong so what you have to do is to make this short message correctly in capital letters and punctuation mark mom i'm sorry i did not have time to wash the dishes before i went to school this morning i'll do it when i get home this afternoon okay you know you can see in this short message there is no full stop there is no comma there is no uh, question mark for example and there is no capital letters also so what you have to do is to make this short message uh, written correctly okay and here the correct one mom okay you can see in this uh, picture uh, sorry in this text mom i already changed it into capital letters because it is in the beginning of this of the sentence mom m but in uh, but here i already changed it with capital letters mom and then i'm sorry i here with capital letters also i am sorry i did not have time to wash the dishes before i went to school this morning full stop yeah you can see uh, in the previous short message there is no full stop here but i have to put full, full stop here to make the sentence clear yeah i went to school uh, before i went to school this morning full stop and then after that i'll do it when i get i get home this afternoon full stop again okay 
so this left side is wrong and then the right side is already correct so after this i ask you to make this kind of uh to correct yeah i mean to correct the way you write a short message okay it's time for you to do the exercise rewrite the sentences in the note use the capital letters and punctuation marks correctly and write them in your notebook okay please have a look to this uh, picture in the right side of this slide there are four types of short message short messages so what you have to do is change the way the short message right yeah for example you have to change the capital letters you have to use punctuation marks correctly from number one up to number four so you have to handwrite it in your notebook Well, this is the end of the video lesson for today. I hope you can understand all the materials about short message in this video. Don't be shy to ask to me in Google Classroom or by chat. Alhamdulillahirrabbilalamin And thank you for your attention. Don't forget to do your assignment. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.